Hey guys, how's it going? So we'll continue with our paper. So I actually discovered that it's easier for me to write down the answers first. Okay, so I'll probably put some music there. And then you can listen as I as I write this. And then afterwards we can uh, discuss some of these things. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed yet, I advise you to, uh, it encourages us and also it helps others uh, discover our channel. Okay, so, and then if you have any requests, also leave them in the comment section or even uh, a phone number as well. I usually put my phone number on videos, okay? So you can uh, just send me over maybe some papers. We also like them. If you notice that this paper here, it's not uh, really straight just because we were actually checking and then washing some other paper that someone just, uh, you know, uh, grabbed using uh, a scanner, a scanner application, okay? So those are some of the things that you can help out with. If you give us papers, then we'll be able to wash them and then deliver them to you in uh, in no time. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write. So just uh, stick around, and then afterwards we can discuss. Okay, so I'm done writing. We just have to uh, discuss some of these answers, okay? So here, uh, the first question says, describe a natural ecosystem. So this one, uh, the buzzword this time, it's describe. That one was state. So state, you could just uh, write in point form or very short sentences, it would have been fine. This one says describes, it means that it has to be something that's readable. And something is if you're, you're telling someone, uh, it's not just uh, stating, you're actually describing uh, most of the of the important stuff about that particular phenomenon or uh, that particular that particular word or anything. Okay, so this one it says uh, describe uh, describe a natural ecosystem. So uh, here the the two buzzwords are natural natural, and then uh, ecosystem. Okay, so uh, your answer should reflect both. Okay, so I'll show you how it's done. So here it says uh, a natural ecosystem is a community of living and uh, non-living entities. Here, uh, again, the way that I'm writing the answers, I'm, I'm trying as much as I can to simplify uh, so that the threshold for understanding it's, it's a little bit lower. But what you can do is to use uh, very specific science terms to explain some of these things. So a community of, this one they're called the uh, biotic, okay. So this is the living, they are called the biotic or the biome, and uh, the non-living, non-living, they are called the what? The abiotic. These are called components of the, of the ecosystem, there are two. So here I've said entities, if you want, you can say uh, components, okay? So it's a community first, this one is it's a very important uh, word. Community already are communicating that um, uh, they, they are, there's some sense in which these entities, they're actually living uh, close together, okay? So the, of the, why well, now you're telling the components, the components are the living and the non-living entities. And they are interacting freely. So this one, it's, uh, it's just um, a continuation from, from uh, the sense of community. So they're interacting freely. Uh, here, the important uh, word was, was freely. Why? Because it's a natural ecosystem. Natural ecosystem, that means we're not really affecting it. Uh, humans, we are known to mess up with our uh, things. If a lion messes up uh, with something in the wild, 
that's fine okay it's it's part of nature when humans do it we say that uh, that's a uh, sort of transhumanism it's different than uh, uh, what nature intended just because of uh, how our brains are, are large and uh, also the what we're capable of okay so interacting freely in nature uh, outside of human influence so here out the outside of human influence would explain the natural part Everything else here, uh, a system of living and, and unliving entities, that's the essence of uh, an ecosystem, okay? So when you explain that, inter that interaction is free from human nature or from human influence, that means that you have explained that it's a natural ecosystem, okay? So this one was um, was kind of uh, uh, tricky, but then I, it was really cl clarifying uh, the way that I explained it, I hope. And uh, B item one says define the term uh, balanced diet. So here definition, you you write the definition in the way that uh, you describe uh, the uh, anything. Okay, so describing something so oftentimes can be uh, defining it. So it simply means uh, if somebody reads what you have written, will they be able to know that you're talking about balanced diet? That's how you define, okay? So uh, a diet that has a correct proportion and quantity. So it, it should be correct proportion and correct quantity, okay? So a correct proportion and quantity of the nutrients required for healthy or optimum living. That's a balanced diet, okay? So it's, it's actually different for, for uh, different people. So it has all the nutrients, but then you're not supposed to uh, eat in excess. So if uh, it has all the nutrients, but then it has uh, excess carbohydrates, then that's not really a uh, balanced diet, okay? So it has to have the correct proportion, and it also has to have the, the correct quantity of the nutrients, okay? Uh, for required for, for, for healthy living or uh, healthy lifestyle. So they are... Um, uh, a few things. So just 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 so you know, here yeah, uh, in artificial ecosystem, uh, so it you uh, actually take you back here. But then I just want to give you uh, some examples of uh, artificial eco eco uh, eco ecosystems. So you have aquariums. So if you have um, ever been to an aquarium, that's an artificial uh, ecosystem because you're actually are putting uh, these sea organisms in one place, and then you are uh, directing how they actually. Uh, not necessarily interact, but then the way that you're doing it, you're affecting the way that they would otherwise interact uh, anywhere else. Okay, so and they they also even even dams dam dams are also uh, artificial ecosystems, and even crop fields crop fields they are also artificial uh, ecosystems. Okay, so uh, that's that's what I wanted to say here. And then here on balanced diet, there are essentially seven components that you're supposed to know. I'll just say, you say them in passing and then you just know you have to know the components of the of the balanced diet and then you also have to know uh, the, the deficiency diseases. So for example, if you don't eat too much carbohydrates, what happens? If you don't have uh, too much uh, protein, what happens? Okay, so the seven uh, components, you can write them down. They are carbohydrates, then vitamins, then minerals, then unsaturated fats. Unsaturated fats, they're a little bit different than saturated fats. Saturated fats, we usually associate them with um, uh, high cholesterol levels. Cholesterol is this, um, um, you can think of them as, as fats, so they, they accumulate uh, around the, your vein, so they actually block a bit, at least some parts there. Uh, not necessarily vein, sometimes artery, so when they do that now, they, they are like clogging up. It's like your, your piping system, it's being clogged up, so sometimes you end up suffering a heart attack or something. So those are called saturated fats. Unsaturated fats, if you eat them in moderation, usually they're really good. So if, for example, uh, avocado, uh, even nuts as well. So there's also protein, and then there's also fiber. Fiber, it's the, it's it's not, uh, we can't digest fiber. We just do it so that it helps uh, our digestion, okay? But then we can't actually digest fiber. So fiber, it's also an important part, and then obviously uh, water, okay? So vitamins, we have A, B, C, and D. You should know at least uh, everything there is to know about C and, uh, and D, okay? So especially the deficiency diseases. And then, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably it, okay? So uh, in the next part, it says, describe the importance of calcium to your pregnant woman. So calcium, it's one of the most important uh, minerals to a pregnant woman okay so uh, you have calcium and then she also needs iron so sometimes that's why you see pregnant uh, women they actually uh, eat what you call dagger so uh, it's it's clay 
uh, and that it's, it's a specific type of clay that plates really rich in, in iron and okay? So, and then they also require iodine. So these are the three uh, important uh, minerals that uh, pregnant people have to have to consume. So they don't have to consume for them directly. In fact, most of this, they actually they can actually benefit from them indirectly. Okay, so uh, calcium is important for uh, bone formation. So you have to sustain. Okay, so calcium is important mineral in bone formation. Then what does it have to do with pregnant women now? Bones are a big part of a, of a developed fetus. Okay, so now you're explaining that. Okay, it's important in bone formation and bones. They're a big part of uh, the development process for a, for a fetus. Okay, so iron it's uh, it's very important in uh, pregnant women just because it's uh, it makes up hemoglobin, which is a very important part of of uh, of blood. Okay, so and then iodine it's uh, it's uh, important for for thyroid. Uh, uh, development okay so thyroid hormones usually they they you need iodine there and uh, the rich source of iodine would be iodized salt okay so i uh, state the advantage of eating liver so some some foods they're called super super foods i'm not sure if liver is but uh, stuff like liver the spleen the brain the kidneys they're very rich and um in, uh, in terms of uh, nutrients, they are all encompassing, at least some of them, okay? So high iron dose needed for, for blood formation, so you actually uh, get it from, from, from liver, okay? So liver has high iron, iron dose, okay? So it has high iron uh, nutrients in terms of uh, iron, it has so much. And then the other part is um, it has, it is, it's rich in vitamin A, but then no, not as much as uh, it is rich in uh, vitamin B12, okay? So we'll go and look up the importance of, of vitamin B12. But then essentially this is how I would uh, be writing the, the paper. So that's it for, for question two. And then when I join you in the next uh, uh, part, we're going to uh, look at uh, further questions in the in the paper. Okay, so thanks so much for for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Give out.